Hello, my name is Jean and I'd like to welcome you to my garden here at the Hunter's Trist in Edinburgh. A lot of people who previously had little interest in gardening have now discovered some of the joys and benefits of owning a garden thanks to the very different way of life that's been imposed on us by COVID-19. If you're a newcomer to gardening, enthusiastic but don't know where to start, I hope that this video will help to get you going. Your garden will have several different types of plants in it and today I'm going to talk about annuals and a little bit about biennials too. Annuals, as their name implies, complete their life cycle in one season. Their native habitat is somewhere usually warmer than the UK. Places like South America, South Africa, North Africa, Asia. Annuals or bedding plants can either be planted directly into the ground or used in pots or planters or any kind of container. They will give you loads of colourful flowers throughout the summer, but when summer's over, the plants will die and must be removed. Glorious for the duration of their short life. Colourful as they are, I don't think you'd want only annuals in your garden. If you did, your garden would be empty for half the year. But used sparingly, they're invaluable. The growing season here in Scotland is not too long, so a lot of people buy their bedding plants in the garden centres round about Easter, when it's nearly time for them to be planted out. If you were to sow directly into the soil once it's warmed up, the seeds would germinate and grow into little plants quite quickly. In a matter of a few weeks they would start to flower, but the little plants would spend the summer trying to catch up and you probably wouldn't get too many flowers. Alternatively, those with a heated greenhouse can start the whole process earlier and their little plants should be ready at the same time as the nursery grown ones. Before the plants die, they will have produced seed for next year's plants. Annual plants need little attention over the summer months, but deadheading them certainly helps to prolong the flowering season. The raison d'etre of all plants is to procreate, and so they strive to produce seeds. It takes an enormous amount of energy to do this, so unless you actually want to collect the seeds for sowing next year, removing the dead flower heads will divert the energy back into creating more flowers. Biennials generally have a life cycle that covers two years. They grow from seed and put on leaf growth in the first year. Unlike annuals, they become dormant over the winter months, but are ready to flower once it warms up in the spring or early summer. But once they finish flowering, it's time for them to be removed. Biennials are a small group of plants and the commonest are probably foxgloves, wallflowers and sweet william, all well worth having in your garden. Foxgloves especially self-seed very readily and in autumn you can move the new little plants to where you want them to flower next year. If you opt to buy the plants from the garden centre, plant them out in autumn and they'll give you a lovely display next spring or summer. I hope this has been helpful for you. I plan to make some more videos about other plants and about what to do in different seasons. So until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.